I mean, I, this is what I'm really impassioned about, and I mean, I do it when I'm, like today, I mean, I've had the last two days off, I've spent half the day of each one of them cooking. I mean, I just love to do it, whether it's in a restaurant setting or for friends, this is my most fun time, you know, just cooking for people that I really enjoy to be around, and, and it's actually because I'm a little shy as well, so this gives me a chance to like interact with people. Uh, yeah, he seems like a nice guy. I, know, I, I, have, I feel very comfortable around him and uh, uh, I think he seems to know what he's doing and what he's talking about, so, uh, so yeah. Um, you know, it comes from one of the top 10 new restaurants in the United States. Uh, how could I pass that up? <laughs> Okay, we're doing just some barbecue chicken. The sauce is pretty funky. It's uh, like it's a mixture between uh, like a multi-pepper barbecue sauce that I made uh, about a week ago, and then um, it's got nectarine mustarda in it. So we got the chicken. Doing a little grilled corn with uh, like a little lime cilantro butter pasta unit, cold and uh, another like microgreen salad for later with nectarines and jalapenos and peaches and stuff. I did a couple courses at CIA in Hyde Park, um, but by the time I decided that I wanted to go to culinary school, I had, I had already been a chef de cuisine, so I just kind of took some things that I thought that I was lacking in and uh, pretty much went from there. And that's what I've been doing, you know, ever since. John is an amazing chef, and he loves to teach people. And he get, he keeps his composure really well as a chef. I've seen some other ones just fly off the handle if something just a little bit stressful happens. But John in John will keep his composure until you know until it's really bad. He he he's very mellow, and I've noticed that when he's in the kitchen cooking, he doesn't talk at all. You don't like hear a peep out of that guy all night. Yeah, I I haven't talked to him about it, but it appears he was born with a birth defect, and I see him uh, uh, work more uh, adeptly with knives, and I see some cooks who have been doing it for ten or fifteen years and have all their fingers. You know, I I say I ask this question to all my employees, regardless of whether they're a server, or a dishwasher, or bartender, and I always say, are there any um, physical limitations that would preclude you from being able to do your job? And uh, I didn't ask that question to him because of his fingers directly. Um, I just asked that question to everybody, and he said no, and so I I went with it. To me, he is he is the best boyfriend I've ever had. He treats me better than anybody else ever has. And after 30 years of life, you know, he's just, he's the best. I know that I don't want to be with anybody else.